Good morning, Cinder. Dad's already been out here to feed you, I see. He feed you when he got home? Yes. You were laying, you laid, laid in the same place all day yesterday, too. Yes, come here. Can you come see me? No? Can I pet you? Okay, good girl. Yeah, maybe just a little bit, huh? Maybe just a little bit. So how, how are you and the new girl getting along, huh? Yeah? What do you think of her? Kind of just ignoring her right at the moment, haven't you been? She goes, I sniffed her through the fence when she first got here. And I've kind of been ignoring her ever since. Yes, you have. I'm going to go check on her and turn the fan in her room on because it's getting warm. Yeah, it was really... I don't want it to be cold yet, but I was hoping it would stay cooler during the, yeah, during the day because she needs to stay contained. Um, I do think we have a worm issue, and she, can, she, she may need a, she may need a vet appointment. Um, hi, Dad didn't turn your light on? He didn't. You get silent meows. She does meow. Let's move, gotta move the brick. That's to help keep the raccoons from pulling on the door. Let me in. Oh, hi, beautiful. Hi. And how are you this morning? Well, this afternoon. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, can I turn the light on? Turn the light on. Oh, and then the fan came on. It's kind of loud, isn't it? Yeah, the light and the fan came on together. I'm wearing my ugly goat shoes because I, my husband's asleep, but I couldn't get to my regular shoes. It's okay. These are my outside gardening shoes. I didn't have to, I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't matter. I do believe, because this fan is so loud, so right now we're going to turn it off. We'll turn it off for now. I'll turn it back on before I leave. How are you doing, ma'am? Yeah, oh, she's going to rub on my leg. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Um, she shook her head last night and shook wet all over my legs. So, I don't know. No, 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 no. Don't, don't climb on me. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have pants that go all the way down. Come here. Can, we, can I put you somewhere where we don't have to look on the floor? Here we go. Up here. Okay. Oh, you don't want to stay up here? You ate all your food. You did. And I don't see any... Oh, you're, poo you're not pooping where you're supposed to. You're not pooping in the litter box. Why are you pooping on the floor? Okay, this is a bit of an issue. We've pooped on the floor. That poop that's in the litter box there, I put in there, trying to show her that's where she needs to go. So we are not using the litter box. Where is she? Where is she? You're not using the litter box, honey. It's gonna get really stinky in here if you don't use the litter box. Yes, it is. Now, I used, when we got her, all the litter I had was Milo's litter, and Milo uses that crystal litter. My friend did say she saw her use a litter box. So, I think, where are you? Where are you, honey? <laughs> I think we're going to have to change the litter. Um, I did buy a, there's a container of regular cat litter over there, and I think we're going to have to switch. Yes, because you're pooping on the floor. And probably peeing on the floor, too, because there's not any pee, pee in the litter box, either. You did pee, pee once in the litter box, and that was when I put you in it. Oh, 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 that's such a big jump for such a little thing. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So we're not, not exactly litter box trained. Of course, I, like I said, I think she was an out... She's an outdoor kitty. Um, if she wasn't... I mean, obviously, she loves people. Um... I don't, I mean, if she was somebody's kitty at some point, they abandoned her or put her outside. Or maybe she'd always been an outside kitty. But we're not using a litter box, so that's not cool. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix that. But I'm thinking we're in the, I don't know what she wants. She wants me to feed her. You want food? Well, okay, your food's in the other, it's out there with Cinder. I'll, I'll go get it. We do have some mice that have traveled through here, and I'm afraid the mice might be eating her food when she doesn't eat it right away, but I'm not sure. Yes, I know. You have to let me walk, and I will go get you some food. 
Okay, give me a second and I'll go get you some food. <laughs> oh, honey. You're so sweet. You're so cute. The litter box thing is an issue, though. Okay. Let, let go of my leg. Okay, you gotta move over there so I can open the door. No. <laughs> you gotta go over there so I can get out. I'll get I'll bring you food. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Let me latch this back. Gotta bring her some food. Sander, what do you think? Hmm? Could you do something about the mice? She said, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Cinder cat, I know. Got her handful of food. I'm feeding her very, I'm feeding her very frequently, and very small handfuls of food at a time. So it does. Because I think the first day she got, everybody was so worried about her. We fed her way too much, and she got an upset tummy. Honey, let me in. So. Rubbing on my feet, so we've we're she's still getting quite a bit of food, but she's getting it in smaller amounts. Oh my gosh, she's so hungry! You're so hungry, aren't you? She said, "I don't know if I want loves or food." She food. She said, "Food, food, food is more important." She's so hungry. I mean, she kind of vacuums that food up, don't you? You're such a hungry babies. You're such a hungry baby, aren't you? Yes, I know. Go eat your foods. Go eat your food. It's okay. I need to bring you some more water, too. Oh, my gosh. She's so hungry. Yes, I know. She said, I just can't eat fast enough. I'm so hungry. I mean, she's she just, she's bony. She's skin and bones. She has not been being fed properly. At least she's chewing it now. The first day, she didn't even chew it. She was just swallowing it whole. Poor little thing. She's such a pretty little baby. She's just so tiny. So absolutely tiny. Well, I've been, I looked over the names everybody suggested. And some of them were a couple names I had thought about. Um, Ember and Ash or Ashley seem to be overwhelmingly the most suggested names. Um, so we may be going with one of those. I will be discussing it with my husband. I think I mentioned Ember the first night we got her. Um, and I'm kind of leaning towards Ember myself, but Ashley and Ash, or Ash is a good name too. So we'll have, we'll have a little bit of discussion and see what we think she should be called. Um, Thing. so hungry she's so hungry I mean I just want to keep food down for her all the time but I think she'd gorge herself and then the mice just can't come in here and eat it she said I'm not big enough to catch those mousies yet I think they're big mice they're not regular mice it's like pack rats so um but we will we'll get her name settled here pretty soon I'll let you guys know what we came up with I think I'm going to change out that litter to clay litter and see if we can get her to use the box that way. Um, because pooping on the floor and probably peeing on the floor, which I don't, I can't see, is, is just that's that's not cool. We gotta we gotta work on that. So, well, we're gonna let you go, guys. I'm gonna clean up in here, clean her mess up here in a little bit, and um, bring her some more water. She's already almost eaten all of that. So you guys all have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.